welcome to Active Control's YouTube channel. Today I just want to spend a couple of minutes describing the differences between our two soft start types, which gives you best performance per the application depending on what you're looking for. Um, so I'll just get started. We have introduced our plug and play soft start. We have three models. We have the 20 amp version, as you can tell by smaller plugs we have a 30 amp version both RV home use whatever and then we also have a marine version which I did not bring out but it's a basically a marine twist lock heavy-duty cables now we are introducing after a significant amount of time of field testing my own home others other factory uh, installations we have this is our wired version this is our four wired version. Um, this is a one motor type operation. Our plug and play can do multiple motors, including surge protection. This is just a motor starter. It's a soft starter. It's wired directly to the compressor, and its only job is to start that compressor, nothing else. Of course, it has short cycle protection, over voltage, over current. It's it's got all those incorporated in it, but it is just for one compressor. Now, a lot of the emails I've received and questions out there is, which one do I use? What's the best one to use for my application? Come down to this. This tested continuously gives you 80% reduction from a small compressor to a large compressor. I've consistent, consistently gotten 79, 81, 82 percent reduction. That's measured, not based on the locked rotor. That is measured before and after installation of this. That's a big difference. A lot of people claim locked rotor amps, the rating, but never show you the pre, the pre measurement. Uh, check out my YouTube's. I show pre and post. This is the best. So if your application is to use an inverter. This is this is their best one right here. 80% works on inverter. You can't do any better than that. Now, our plug and play, the reason it's 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 liked by many is just that. You don't have to go find places for these wires. You don't have to cut, you don't have to connect. Okay? I can't say much more than that. Uh, this takes a little bit more effort. Even though it's only four wires, you see my video, it's not that difficult for the home installation, but for RV installations, definitely it's a little bit more complicated. This product works even on a small generator, 2000 watt generator, it will start your AC. Um, I've shown it, a 2200 Honda, a 2000 Honda, it will start. I use my uh, Chinese brand, it starts. 14,000 BTU, no problem. Uh, 22, 2300 watt generator can possibly get a 15,000 BTU. Um, we've shown the video of a Champion 2500 starting a 15,000 BTU. Now, again, these, you don't have to go do anything except plug it in line with your RV and it works and it gives you added features. Our introductory pricing on these has been very low for what you get from these and that's why I also introduced the 20 amp version for those that have a single AC you don't need to carry the overhead of a larger one but still a really good product it does the job just enough for you to start on that generator but if you're looking for the best the lowest then the hardwired especially for inverter applications these were not really designed for inverters um, this is the wired version is these are really best use is for generators because the generators give you a little lag and then this really kicks in to help recover on that generator thank you